Hello guys, today we are going to show you how to do impossible in a last epoch. Uh, here we have a ring. The ring has uh, two affixes. One is the one is strength uh, and the other is freeze rate multiplier. The strength is the tier 6 and the freeze rate multiplier is tier 2. What we would like to do is to show the items the items that only have those two affixes. And what we would like to do is the strength is minimum tier six. So we need to set up our, our filter. We create new filter. Let's, let's say it's uh, example filter one. And let's create a rule. We are going to recolor the items, recolor the items green, and we want to add a condition, affix. We want to show only the ones that have strength and the, with the advanced options, we select more or equal six with the total affix tiers of any. That's pretty straightforward. This will show us the items that have the uh, one affix strength tier six. The only issue is that in the last epoch, uh, you cannot set up that I want to have a strength tier six and I want to have a free rate multiplier, but I don't really care about the tier. It's not possible to do it in here. You can play with all the configurations it's here, you will not be able to do it. Normally, you would use the add condition, but unfortunately, when you already used the affix condition, you cannot use, uh, use it the second time. So now we are going to cheat. So we are going to choose the rarity and we want to do have an exalted item. We are going to update it. So now, our rules has, we want to have a strength with a tier six and the item will be exalted. And now how we are going to cheat. We are going to click export filter and copy to clipboard. Then we are going to open our text editor and we are going to paste what uh, the game copied for us. Now we are going to find a rule uh, that we just created. Normally this rule should be on the bottom of the file. Uh, the rules that are in the game on the top usually are placed on the bottom. So we can see here that we want to highlight the items that uh, shows the affix 501, it's actually the strength, and we are looking for the second one which is called an exalted item, the second condition that we get. Now what we are going to do, we are going to delete this condition and we are going to duplicate the condition of the that uh, the strength one so now we have the xml file with the two conditions which is not possible in the game what we are going to do is to copy uh, copy what we did go back to the game create a new filter and we are going to paste from the clipboard let's name it test two and now here we go we have something which is which was previously not possible we can choose the two affixes so we have the ring we want to have a freeze rate multiplier uh, with the tier two so let's change the color so you can see that I am not cheating to the pink one and let's uncheck the strength here and we want to have a freeze rate multiplier and call this was encode resistance yeah. let me check and the code resistance exactly uh, tier 2 update now let's throw the ring on the ground here we go we have a pretty pink color now let's check if this works and I am not 
cheating you. Let's have the tier 4. So, as you can see, it works like a charm. So this is how you can have two rules, two affix rules in your filter. And now you can do whatever you want. Probably you can have three, four or five. Will this work in 1.0? Will they patch it? I hope not, because this is an amazing tech. So have fun as we did while figuring this out one out. Hackerman, he's the most powerful hacker of all time.